Hello and welcome to Japanese in 5, where we take five minutes out of your extremely busy day where you have no time to do anything except for this one five minute study. This is part two of Dake and Shika, where we talk about ways to say only in Japanese and take it just a little bit further than that. Uh, if you've studied Dake or Shika, watch these and you might learn something new. This is 19 to part two. Here we go. We're going to talk about using Shika today. Uh, so in the first Part of this, we, we said, hitotsu dake arimasu, which is the positive way of saying, I only have one. The positive way, what does that mean? Well, it means that the next version we're going to talk about is the negative way. Hitotsu shika arimasen. This is really weird because you're really, you wouldn't say in English, I only have don't one, or I don't only have one. What you're really saying is, with the exception of this one, I have none. This is a very typical Japanese construct, and by the way, it's the exact same in Korean. They say, bake opsayo, instead of shika arimasen, exact same grammar. All right, so just like we did with dake, we can do the same thing with shika, all right? Testo wa ato yotsu shika nai desu. Testo wa ato yotsu shika nai desu. I only have four more tests, or I just have Four more tests. Kyo wa ikkai shika tabete nai desu. This is something that might happen. Maybe you get a little bit too busy studying Japanese and you forget to eat. Kyo wa ikkai shika tabete nai desu. I haven't eaten at all today except once. That's what you're saying. I haven't eaten at all except once. Think of shika meaning except. Or, you know, when you're translating English, you're going to probably just say the positive form just like it was a dake, but that is not as common as the shika method. Let's see what we can do with nouns using shika. All right? If you want to say you only have old books or there are only old books in this store, you could say furui hon shika nai desu. And by the way, it's not limited to just nai. You could also say furui hon shika arimasen. You could make it past tense. There were only old books. Furui hon shika arimasen deshita or nakatta. Here's a more complicated sentence for the advanced uh, listeners here. Uh, neko mo iru to omotta kedo inu shika inakatta. I thought there would also be cats. I thought there was also cats, but there were only dogs. Okay, this is a very possible. Maybe you go to a friend's house and you're a big cat lover, but you go there, there's no cats, and you could say neko mo iru to omotta kedo. I thought there were only, there would also be cats. Kedo, right? But Inu shika inakatta, but there were only dogs. Notice we did use past tense for inai, the non-existence verb for living things. Inai means to not exist. All right, uh, shika with verbs. This is really important. It's a very, very big grammar. Let's go to it. We have kuruma ga koarete iru kara, very simply, because my car is broken. Aruku shika nai desu. I can only walk. And really what you're saying is my only option is to walk. Aruku shika nai. Man, that's all you have. You just gotta walk. Aruku shika nai. Kuruma ga koarete iru kara. It's in a state of being broken. That's why it's koarete iru. That's a whole other grammar, but very important to know at this point. You don't say koarata, you could. My car broke. But if you want to say it is broken, it's koarete iru. All right, let's move to the next one. Ryoshi uh, ni... Wow, what if you got your girlfriend pregnant? This would be the only thing you could do. You'd have to tell your parents, hers or yours. Ryoshin means both parents. If you just have a dad, you could say, Oya, your parent. Oya ni yushika nai desu. The only option is to tell your parents. That is it. Hopefully, you now have a better understanding of how shika nai and dake aru works and since we have 50 seconds left let me do a small promotion we just released this awesome book japones des tesero excuse my accent i do not speak spanish but a very good friend of mine and a long time member of yes japan who has taken the japanese proficiency test gotten level one and is amazing at japanese spanish and korean he went ahead and did an adaptation of this book his name is adan pardo zurita and you can purchase this book now on Amazon.com if you prefer to use Spanish instead of English to learn your Japanese. Book two, three, four, and five coming soon. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all on the next Japanese in five. Bye bye.